Okay, so far in our <clears throat> math history, <laughs> or the history of doing math, we've done square roots. So a square root, so a square root of 25 is 5 because um, 5 squared equals 25. So today we're going to do cube roots, fourth roots, higher roots. So if you're just doing the cube root of 0 0.027, you can just put this in your calculator. So what you do is on your calculator you go to math. So go to your, press math on the left hand side and you'll have a feature, it's a fourth one down that's a cube root. So the cube root looks like this. So the cube root of 0 0.027. 0 0.027 is 0 0.3. So this is a decimal, so you want to end it as a decimal. Now you can take the cube root of a negative number because a negative times a negative times a negative is a negative. So the cube root, doing the same thing again, go to math, the fourth one down, the cube root of negative 125 is negative 5. And then the cube root of 164 is 0.25 but this is a fraction you want to end it as a fraction so change it back to a fraction and the answer is one fourth so fourth roots this time i'm going to do math but i'm going to go down to this symbol right here so it's x so in order to get that x right there depending on your calculator I can actually insert a 4 into that spot, so the 4 through of 625 is 5. Okay, if you have an older calculator, you have to press 4 first, then go to math and select this, and it will put 4 in that spot. So if I do the 4 through of negative 0 0.0016, I get an error because a 4 through of a negative number is impossible because a negative times a negative times a negative times a negative is going to be a positive number and then a positive times a positive times a positive times positive is going to be a negative number so you can't or a positive number so this won't work you can't take the fourth root of a negative number just like you can't take the square root of a negative number and get a real number so it's not a real fourth root and then if you have a fraction, I think the easiest way to do this is do the 4 through of 81 over the 4 through of 625. So the 4 through of 81 is 3, and the 4 through of 625 is 5. So the answer is 3 fifths. And remember, if you do do it in your calculator, um, the whole thing at one time, just make sure that your answer is a fraction. Okay, find each real number root. So again... This is a calculator thing. So the cube root of negative 1,000 is negative 10. You can take the cube root, the fifth root, the seventh root of negative numbers. Just if it's an even root right here, so this is technically a square root, this is not possible or not real. And the fourth root of 16 is positive 2, and the square root of 0.64 so this is a decimal so you want to end as a decimal so this is 0.8 okay then down here we start to simplify by breaking down these radicals so the technique that I do that I use um, is I factor this is degree 2 or this is a square root so I'm going to take out in groups of two. So what I mean by that is I factor out nine. I make a factor tree of nine is three and three. So this is gonna be the square root of three times three. And then I have x to the tenth. So I can write out 10 x's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now since it's the square root, I take them out in groups of two. So if I have a group of two, I circle it, and then I put one of them on the outside. Circle this, put one on the outside. Circle this, put one on the outside. Circle one, circle one, circle one. There's nothing on the inside, so I don't even need to write my root anymore. So this ends up being three 
x to the fifth, because there's five x's. That's my answer. So if you saw, another way you can do this is this means the square root of 9 times the square root of x to the tenth. So the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of x to the tenth would be how many groups of 2 do you have in 10? So what you're really doing is doing 10 divided by 2, because it's a square root. So that's how you get x to the fifth. So there's a couple different ways. Sometimes I do this way because it just works for everything that doesn't, um, you'll see later if, if there's not a group of two. Okay, letter B, this is the cube root. So I write the cube root of A, 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 B, B, B. So because this is the cube root, I'm taking them out in groups of three. So A is on the outside, B is on the outside, and there's nothing on the inside. So my answer is just A, B. Okay, letter C, the fourth root of x to the 16th. So this would be the fourth root of 16 x's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, x to the fourth, because this would be x times x times x times x. So x to the fourth. And then just one group of four of y's. So that would be, that's a lot to write out 16 x's. So the fastest way is actually do, the method I did previously is you want to do 16 divided by 4. And you get 4. And then 4 divided by 4 is 1. So that power is 1. Okay, next one. I'm gonna do I'm not, I'm gonna do it by not factoring out. So the square root of 64 is eight. And then six divided by two is three. Because if I write out one, two, three, four, five, six, and I take them out in groups of two, I wrote out too many. Yeah, I wrote out one too many. So if I take them out in groups of two, I have y cubed. And then z to the 12th is going to be 12 divided by 2, which is 6, so it's z to the 6. Or, if you write out 12 z's, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and take them out in groups of 2, there's going to be 6 groups of z's. Okay, and the last one, negative 125, the cube root of negative 125 is negative 5. So keep the negative with it. Remember, you can take, um, if you have a negative number, you can take the odd root of it. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that's my answer.